Hello, today we will be having a look at the positions and holding screen of the Trade Smart 2.0 desktop application. Let's start with positions. To check positions in the Trade Smart app, click Trading in the top menu bar. Under this, you can click Position Book. The Positions tab gives information about your open and close positions of the same day and any carry forward positions of the derivative segment. Here on the left hand corner, we can see the net wise and day wise options, which will give you information about positions based on what you have selected. The net wise option gives information about all positions which are traded today, as well as any carry forward positions. The day wise option will give you information about the trades done on the same day. Once you click on the get positions tab, you will see all your open and closed positions. Let's understand the columns under it. Product will give you information about the product type of your position, whether it is intraday, MIS, delivery, CNC, or overnight NRML. Net quantity will give you information about any open position that is still to be squared off. PNL or MTOM will give you information about your profit and loss in the selected position. The LTP is the last traded price of the selected position. The booked PNL shows profit and loss for the closed position and the unbooked PNL will show profit and loss for the open position which are still open or yet to close. To square off any open position, right click on the open position and click on square off. Click on yes. This will square off your position on the current market rate. In case you want to square off your order at the limit rate, you can simply use the shortcut key of F1 or for buying and F2 for selling. In case you want to square off all your open positions at one time, you can create a basket for the same. Right click on any open position and select create square of basket. Enter the details of the position by selecting the same one by one. Here, you just have one, and then you can click on add and then place basket. To convert your positions from intraday to delivery for the equity segment or overnight NRML for the derivative segment, you can simply right click on any open position. Click on multiple position conversion and choose the new product type and click on convert. You can also use POS conversion on the right hand side corner to convert one single position. Now let's understand the holdings tab. To check the holdings, click on the holdings tab under trading. The holdings tab gives information about the stock which are held in your DMAT account. On the top of the holding screen, we can see a few details. Total investment value. This shows the total amount invested in your holding stocks. Current value. This shows the holding valuation based on the last traded price known as LTP. PNL, which will give information about the profit and loss of your holdings, which is nothing but the difference between total investment minus current value. And day change. This shows the price changes between the last closing price and the last traded price. We can also see a few columns under the holdings tab. Let's understand them one by one. The holding quantity shows the total quantity you hold of the selected stock. Holding close price is the closing price of the last trading day of the selected stock. Holding collateral quantity. In case you've pledged your holdings at the trade smart end using MAS, which is margin against shares, those quantities are blocked for further trading until you unpledge your shares and such stocks will be visible under this column. Actual price will show the average buying price of the selected stock. P1 holding quantity will show those quantities that have not been delivered yet from the exchange. For example, if the shares are brought in a trading day, which is Monday, on the next trading day, i.e. Tuesday, it will be visible in the T1 quantity. Used quantity. These are the quantities for which you have placed an order on the same trading day 
Once the order is placed in the market, the set quantity will be visible in this column and the same will be debited from your DMAT account. You can also check realized, unrealized PNL, current valuation, and the total investment value of each single stock from here. To square off your holdings, right click on your desired holdings, which you want to square off. And you can see two options for placing a sell order, which is sell on NSC or sell on BSC. Select your desired exchange and the sell order window will open up. Here you can enter your desired values and submit the order. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hope it was helpful.